How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Fisher Media. Uh, this video may or may not be quick depending how much I talk, but I don't like talking a lot on the camera. I like to fish and I like to show you guys what I'm doing, right? But because I've been getting a lot of DM, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions about how to catch these burbot. And to be honest with you guys, I am pretty new at this burbot thing. I've seen it done before. I've seen people do it. Uh, it's been a long overdue fish that I've always wanted to catch for my audience. I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys exactly what I know and what I've learned for the past few days, the past few outings that I've gone, right? And it's been great, it's been fun. Uh, these fish are very fascinating, they are delicious. As everybody said, they are like lobster and they taste amazing. They're ugly, yet they taste awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I was using and how to rig up for these burbot. Stay tuned. All right, so right off the bat, I know I'm not in the most like, we're not doing catch and cook today, but I'm not in the like craziest background because I've been really busy. I've been really busy uh, setting up for the future of my like fishing channel. So that's all I can tell you guys. I don't want to spoil anything. If you guys want to know more about it, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and I'll slightly and I'll hint things like here and there for you guys if you guys are curious what's going on. But all I have to say is I've been busy and I'm working on big projects and I can't wait to show you guys 2021. So let's get into this burbot fishing. So right off the bat, as Pat told me, bring your catfish gear because it is just like catfishing. And he is 100% correct, right? Especially from shore. And when you're fishing the, like the Lake Michigan, the Milwaukee Lakefront, Port Washington, whatever you're fishing, wherever you can find warm water discharge, wherever you can find uh, the lake feeding to the river, anywhere. There's no secret spots. You can go out to the lakefront and just cast out. And the question is, are they there? That's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. And you wouldn't know until you tried, right? So I can teach you the setup, but it's up to you to go on the correct day and you know, it's just the right place at the right time pretty much. That's what we say. This is the setup. Um, let me see if I can unhook it here. I am using a like longer rod because I just need to bomb it out there. This is actually just my swim bait rod, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, I'll leave all the links down below if you guys are curious, but people did ask me what kind of pound test I use. I'm using 65 pound braid uh, only because I haven't changed it out yet. Do you need 65 pounds? Not really, but is it nice to have it? Yeah, because if you don't have a long net, you can uh, swing that fish like over the pier, right over the dock and onto the shore where you're fishing because you're fishing pretty high up. You're fishing about, you're talking about like maybe 10 feet, 10 plus feet of like a wall, like a distance to the water. And you're gonna need that really strong, sturdy, beefy rod to swing that, I don't know, five, seven, nine, 10, 12 pound burbot out of the water and they're pretty heavy. Again, I'm using 65 pound braid, right? I don't know if you can see it, but 65 pound braid. I use a baba stopper, this little baba stopper right here. Let me change the little focus mode here real quick. Okay, so I'm using, like this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can show you guys. That's the bobber stopper, this black thing right there. I use a bead to protect the bobber stopper from going inside this heavy duty three ounce no roll sinker, right? So it blocks it. Same thing with this side right here. The bead and then the swivel, okay? A heavy duty swivel. That way this part right here doesn't crash and clash and ding up. Ding up the little hole right here because if you don't put that there, this little section is gonna ding this guy up. It's gonna create like a sharp edge and it's gonna cut you right off i promise you guys i learned that the hard way so this is what it looks like okay three ounce weight no roll sinker that's what it is okay this is great when you're fishing deep water with current okay I, and then when i was counting the second of where we were casting i want to say it was about maybe 20 feet of water and that current that sesh Seash or whatever you guys want to call it is going back and forth aggressively and the best bite is when it calms down and burbot will come and pick up the bait so now it is tied on to a 24 pound floral okay so it is right there 24 pounds 
I like 24 pounds because sometimes you are casting into like sharper rocks or maybe if you, you set the hook and the burbit runs into like the big boulders that are dumped down there. I don't know. Like I always think about the worst situation. So I, was, I always want to be prepared, but you can get away at 15, 17, 20 pound. But, you know, I just have my catfish stuff and it seems to work. So the hook, the knot that I use, I believe is a snail knot, I think. I mean, I don't really think it matters if you use polymer or snail knot or fisherman knot whatever uh this is a hook is eagle claw i i'm not sure what size this is but just know that it's that size okay it's pretty big uh you could go smaller too if you want like a uh i don't know if a traditional size four or size six make any sense but this is what i use because i like to put a lot of ton like a, a crap ton of um what do you call it cut bait on here right and for the bait, we like to use shad, like overdue shad that we have sitting around in, in the freezer. Or the best bait, I say, is a shiner or fathead minnows, okay? And what you want to do is you want to split those uh, live bait into pieces. And you want to hook them and rig them all up along this hook here. That's why I like using this bigger shank so I can fit more meat onto this bait, this little hook here. Not a little hook, but this hook here. So... I can attract more scent, attract more blood, and uh, maybe trigger a bigger bite, right? So, like I said, it's not a crazy scientific setup. It's not, uh, I don't think it's hard. Anybody can do it as long as you have, like, the heavy-duty gear to do so. Uh, you can do it with spinning rods and spinning, like, gear stuff too, but then just remember, you catch a, you know, seven, nine-pounder, they are heavy, and they like to whip around when you lift them up, or just get a really long net, which I know not a lot of people have one because they, they are expensive or you either have to build it yourself. Uh, but in this case, if you do have to swing one over, it will help you swing one over the pier, right? Another question too is that uh, people have been asking like, how do you know when they're in? Condition, okay? And I guess the time of the month uh, right now, December, what I read and what I've learned from like Pat and some awesome guys uh, that they come in during like the whole December till uh, I want to say spring, I'm guessing, but under certain conditions. So yeah, burbots are most active when it's colder out. I'm guessing they're deep water fish where they like to come from the deep and they'll come and feed and I'm guessing they're spawning because they have a lot of eggs in them and they're just very, very active <laughs> yeah just know that just the best time to fish with them is around december till spring i'm saying from the cold like temperature wise after storm after rain after snowstorm after like windy days when there's a lot of junk uh floating around the whole uh like lakefront and river system the milwaukee river whatever you want to call it it seems to be good they like that stuff they like that dirtier water they don't like clear water too much not saying it's not doable but yeah dirty water uh, after like some sort of storm um, fish when it's colder and you might be successful so so with that being said hopefully I didn't talk too much I did want to answer some questions that I've been getting again I got a lot of great news for you guys I'm not gonna spoil anything just follow me if you're curious uh, and I'll see you guys on the water okay so enjoy this video no intro no outro really just Hit that subscribe button in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys like this video. And I'll do my best to inform you guys. I'm going to try my best to do more burbot, random burbot fishing. Uh, ice season is coming around. So you guys know we're getting ready for the ice. And stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the water in this video. Peace. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. It's a giant too. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Get the net. I was, I'm not crazy, but it slacked like super hard. Oh, dude, what is this? Dude, he's pulling real hard. He's not pulling like a bourbon. He's not pulling like a bourbon, bro. Let me get, let me get on the wall. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Is he a bronc? Ready? He's coming up. He's not pulling like a bourbon. I think. Wow. He's swimming right at the wall. Yeah. Oh, it's a bourbon. Yes. That's a nice one, too. Yeah. Here, get a look. That's a good one right there. Oh, there, boys. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful one. Yeah, I'm like, dude, why is he fighting so hard? 
Dude, that's got some cool colors on it. Dude, you fall way harder than the ones at Port. Dude, the ones in Milwaukee have They're two. tougher. They're street smart. <laughs> yeah, they're street smart. <laughs> the ones down here in Milwaukee have usually have way better colors than ours. Yeah. Port that's awesome. That water's yeah, always dirty in Port. Yeah, dude, this guy was like, he was fighting hard. Why the heck were you fighting so hard, bro? Oh, he swallowed it. First perfect guys. Hi right, guys, so I'm here with Pat and Matt, right? Jeez, you had trouble man. with this. What's up with this? What's <laughs> up with this? You guys with the same name, but uh Except Max. We got ourselves I'm actually just gonna bleed and throw it in my cooler. Okay. Yeah, so but uh we did catch a nice burby here. Oh my god, this lighting is horrible. It's freaking uh holy jeez, look at that color right there. That's a nice orange looking fish. Get the back on that thing. So that's a nice fish, and uh, we're gonna keep fishing. Right here. Do it again. Got him. Yep. <laughs> Dude, they fight so hard. D A trash. Yeah. Why the hell? Dude, he like smacked this. What they hard. do too, they'll swim right to the wall. Look at him, yeah. Right to the bottom. Look at him, yeah. My yeah, buddy. Oh. He's, he's just, he's just tugging it. Look at that. He's just chucking it away. I would love it if it's a bigger one. Maybe we'll get that double hit tonight. Yeah, let's go. Got two for the fan. Thanks, bro. Hell yeah, smaller guy. That's a good eater. That's a good eater. Oh, yeah, I'll get these. Yes. Yep. There you go. Hell yeah, dude. It's a nice fish right there, boys. Back out here, back at it again. Dude, it's so slimy. Not with the white bands. <laughs> with the eel pout. Look how fat they are. Nice back. Alright, let's get them in the water. Go, 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 go. I gotta get the net. Where's Look at that! Look around, boy! Oh. Stay right here, I got you. Stay on top of me, yeah, stay on top of me. This one is getting away. No. He probably swallowed it. See how hard they fight? Oh, dude, yeah, they... I, I want you to experience what it's like on this one. <laughs> they fight way harder. <laughs> I got you right here. Oh, stay over here. My line's right there. Yeah, stay over here. Stay over here. Oh. oh, you got your other line, bro. Careful, careful, careful. You sure? Oh, here he is. Right here. Swing it in. Swing it in. This way. Yeah, dude. Good stuff. What a freaking hot mess. Find it on this big steelhead rod. What a rod hot a mess, dude. Yeah, he swallowed it, bro. Just be careful with your other rod. I don't want to break it. Probably just has to cut everything. I'm gonna bleed them out, throw them on ice. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 